Hello everyone, this is Fallen Dice, and welcome to episode 3 of my Bee Master series with Fallen Dice. Today's episode is, all, is going to be all about building a better bee. And by building a better bee, I'm not talking about mutations, like, you know, combining this one with that one to get this new one that happens to be a better bee. We will get to that. But what I'm talking about is just the the uh, bee you have giving them some of the abilities that you find in the other ones. Because that's the thing. There are certain traits that you can only get from the natural occurring bees at the beginning. And I believe it's easier to go through all that at the beginning before you get to those high-end bees when one slip sends you back and then you're crossbreeding again forever and a day trying to get the purebred back and in addition still hoping that you're going to get those traits you're going for. So what we're going to do today, I went and did a bunch of uh, bee hunting. <laughs> So you can see, I got a lot of meadows, got some forests, got uh, some tropicals, and I thought I had a couple of valiants too somewhere in here. And what we're going to do, oh yeah, there it is right there, is we're going to do some combining of these bees. And the reason we're doing that is, I hate how that happens. The reason we're going to do that is because, like I said, there's some things that you can get from the beginning bees that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. So, let's go ahead and start off by showing you what I'm talking about. These three are key to what we're going to be doing, as well as this one here. And then this is what we're, we're basically trying to get. We're going to go with a Meadows Princess. And I will show you that this Meadow Princess is nothing special. Basic generic from the beginning. Shorter, slowest, slower flowers, two offspring, the full breeding area, no effects. Not nocturnal, not a flyer, no cave, no humidity up and down, no climate, no temperature down. This is your basic Meadows Bee. Now we're not going to be f fixing everything at, in this, at this point here. The uh, temperature tolerances and the humidity tolerances, a lot of that stuff does come from the mutations that we're going to see in later episodes. Um, as well as your lifespans and your speed. Again, those will come from some of the mutations later on. What we can do is this, and these are so important. Nocturnal. The ability to have your bee work at night is huge because of the amount of downtime that you're going to have on your bees when it's dark, especially on a multiplayer server. You're playing single, it's no big deal. You crawl into bed, you go to sleep, you wake up, it's daytime. But on the multiplayer server, especially if you have people that are AFK you know, at mob farms and things like that, you don't have that ability. So getting the ability to have them work at night, huge. Flyer, another huge one. This is the ability for your bee to work in the rain. I can't tell you how annoying it is to have to watch your bees do nothing during that small daylight hours that you have because it decided to rain that day. Now, later on, you can, of course, make a rainmaker and use some dissipation, dissipation charges. You can actually turn the rain off. But even then, you know, it's still a pain because you have to go through and craft everything. And having a bee that will work even when it rains, again, huge you set it up with your automated bee hives which we will also get into later and he's fine the final one is cave and this to me is one of the ultimates because even if it's day even if it's sunshine and it's not raining you still have to have a direct path to the sky if i look up i have to be able to see the sky here if i was over here and set them right here, it wouldn't work. Because if you look up, there's a tree branch. That is a blocking of the path to the sky. This would not work. Having the cave ability means you can actually breed your bees indoors, underground, wherever you want to. So in my case, when we get to our ages and I'm over in my cavern with my ruins and I want to use bees to power my city, 
I have to have caves because otherwise I'm going to have holes in the roof everywhere just for the bees. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want to have them up on the surface either. So I want that. So these are the three things we're going to do. Now, how do you get those cool um, traits and abilities we're looking for? Uh, well, a variety of ways. Now, one of the ways I'm lucky is somehow in the course of my breeding my other bees, I was able to breed the uh, uh, cave and get it out of my uh, in in my uh, cultivated. Uh, normally you would get the cave from either your heroic, your valiant, or your steadfast. So my guess is somewhere in the way I had some recessive in there that I didn't realize. When they set it up so that they started interbreeding, or I mean they collected in the hives and they, they grouped up, I ended up with a stack of these bees. But we're not going to use those unless we have to. Because the other way to get it is from valiant. And I actually got really lucky on this valiant because he comes with nocturnal and cave. And that's huge. Um, you also can get your nocturnal from a few other sources. The modest bees have nocturnal. All your your uh, sinister, fiendish, and demonic, but that's again that's having to do with uh, some other breeding. Um, but yeah, your modest is usually where you're going to get your nocturnal from, and sometimes the tropical. I've seen tropical. I don't know if it's always the tropical marshes, but I know for sure that your modest is going to give you this nocturnal. And again, cave, it's usually going to come from your heroic, valiant, or steadfast. So we got the valiant here. Um, your flyer is a small chance off your forest bees. So this is why I went hunting for hours and hours. It's to get flyer. And actually, I have it on not just one, but all three of these forest bees. So the cool part about that is it gives me more chance to get this this um, trait into our bee that we want. This one's going to be interesting. Um, if it gets bred out in the wrong way, I'm not much I can do about it. Like I said though, I do have my cultivated, so if I have to, I'll go back to cultivated for this and I can use mod modest to get the uh, nocturnal. But we're going to, right now, we're going to try with this. So, first thing we got to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these hives set up. I've got eight hives here, and right now we'll not be using them all because I'll show you my reasoning for it. But we're, let me get this all set up, and I will be right back. All right, the first part of this has nothing to do with the bee we're trying to play with. These meadow drones and princesses over here and the ones are inside there. We're not even going to touch them because before we even get to them, we need to make sure we have enough of the bee we want. Now, I went back because I didn't have any princesses. All I had was that one drone that had the uh, flyer and nocturnal. And when I went to my uh, stash where I keep my purebreds, I happened to find two more of the drones that have the flyer and nocturnal. One princess with flyer and nocturnal, and one princess that had, I think, both primary and secondary nocturnal and secondary flyer which is going to make this a whole lot easier so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by sticking our purebreds in here because what we want is more drones we won't be touching our princesses the princesses is our sole purpose of giving us more drones to play with and this is kind of the basis of how i breed my bees from the beginning bees all the way to the end bees. It's all about your purebreds and having a good stock. So if we come over here, let's go ahead and pull our Valiant Queens out and take a look at what we got right now. And then there's what I said. It had the Nocturnal was inactive, but the cave was active on both, and that's good because I can get nocturnal from a lot of things. Cave was the important part, and we might actually end up getting it full blown on this anyway, so that's fine. And again, there as well. So we're good on those. Now the, like I said, the key is is to start pumping these out and getting us a bunch of drones. And then the force, we won't know what we get until afterwards because the princesses have the flyer, both sides. 
but the drones don't. The drones are just a standard nothing on them. So what we're trying to do is combine our drone and our princess to get the stats we want. And honestly, I really probably shouldn't have did all three. I should have left this one by himself. Well, we're going to have to cross our fingers and hope. Because what we could have done, and what I should have done, is we start off with one queen, one princess, and a regular drone, and hoping to get half and half. And then when you combine that half and half drone with the purebred, you have a better chance of getting the pure um, active and inactive on both sides. But we'll see what happens. So anyway, I'm going to let these bees go through, and then we'll come back when, it's time, when the uh, queens have died. All right, we are ready to look at our first batch. I'm just going to take the uh, princesses out first. We'll examine them. I also brought up my Rainmaker. But yeah, we'll examine our princesses first, get an idea of what we have with them. And then after we know what we have for princesses, we'll get all of our uh, drones and then try to put together the best that we got. So we have... Um, hmm. Well, it looks like we got the flyer on one. But we were always expecting to only get half and half. That's the way it's going to work. So we got the flyer on that one as well. And flyer on inactive. Got it. So now we've got that now. Uh, f for the Valiants, it should be a little better because we had on both sides. So we have a uh, cave on both. And then, of course, the uh, nocturnal on primary. And let's see what we got here. Oh, and there we go. That one's good. So we got it done all. So there's that one's going to be easier. We can start pumping out some real good uh, uh, drones out of that. Now we'll go ahead and collect all of our um, drones here. And then the, the reason why I split it up here is that way I can try to match up the, uh, the drones and the princesses that match each other best to try and get what we want. So we got... Okay, that one looks good. So we can match that up and should be able to get a pure bread with the full blown. Same as there. That's that's good. But I figured Valiant was gonna work out best that way. Um let's see. What else do we got going here? Alright, more valiants. And same thing again. I'll set those aside. We can see, like I said, I'm gonna see which ones match up the best to kind of get the best. Po probable outcome. <laughs> so we'll match those two up. All right. Now, um, yeah, we'll get them started too as well, just because they got a longer life, so it's going to take them longer to to make it through. Uh, luckily, with the uh, forest ones, they've kind of stacked up, so that'll make it easier to see what we got. But uh, again, we uh, we're kind of expecting that we're going to have half and half because of the way we we did it with nothing on on the drones and double on the princesses. So now we'll go ahead and we'll match those up, put them back in, and I'll be back when I've got something else to uh, show you. All right, so we have <clears throat> our next batch of forest bees is completed. So I'm curious to see how these ended up here. Okay, oops, wrong thing in the inventory. Right, let's bring up our beelizer. All right, so our princess now has same thing in the inactive. Our drone inactive. Oops. Uh, active. There we go. We have a drone with full active and inactive. Now again, we're going to save this in our special because what we want is eventually we want to get one of these princesses to come in there with with both active and inactive and as soon as we do that we pair up this forest with the or the drone and the princess and we can start mass producing out those bees now for right now we'll go back and look at this again you had it in inactive so I'm gonna match you up with an active there we go and honestly I don't know if it makes a difference in that but it just to me it seems the smart way. The other offshoot is, is if they both got the opposite thing, they could end up with a, uh, a princess that had none of them. In which case, then we go back over to here and we take our, oops, sorry, 
over to here and we take one of our drones here with the inactive. That's the cool part about having this large amount of at least half of it what we want. Even if I get a princess it doesn't have any more. I can breed it with one of these and hopefully give it that that trade again until we can get it full blown. And that's what your beekeeping is going to be all about. Uh, if you're thinking, if you're looking for a way to do this quickly, it, it unless you get like the extra bees or whatever, where you start getting into all those DNAs and things and stuff like that, which on a server we don't have access to. Um, if we did, I'd probably would use that. But if you're just trying to do it just the straight up uh, forestry bees, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of work. You're gonna have to keep playing until you finally get those two bees. You know that that full, that purebred queen or princess and purebred drone. Once you get the purebred princess and drone, keep pairing those up and pumping out the purebred drones. And those drones are what you're going to start to breed with your other normal princesses until you can get another princess to have a, a purebred. And then again, you start repeating the process, and eventually you'll end up with six, seven, eight, nine purebreds. And at that point, you have so many drones, you now are ready for the next step. We're still waiting on this. Event. There we go. Good timing. And actually, you were... Let me get you out of here. All right. So we'll bring in our Valiants. And how close are you? Oh, good. They're both done. Um, none of those are the same, so okay. All right, so here we go. Princesses. I uh, have all full on cave and half on the nocturnal. And full on cave, half nocturnal. So both of our valiants have that. Let's see if I got any full on. Okay. Uh, hold, again, holding off. Okay, so far so good. This makes this branch easy. I think we're almost to the point. Okay, yep, good one or two of these on this next batch is going to end up with a full-blown princess that has active and inactive on both those traits in which case like I said that we can start pumping it out alright so it looks like one of these has uh, started going a little quicker than the other one <laughs> of course he also had nocturnal and of course our uh, forest is back again so we're gonna go ahead let's see what we got Try not to do, you know, make this part drag on too long just because, you know, it's going to ha- There we go. Ha 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 ha. Flyer, flyer. We are about to start running. There we go. And right there now, boom, boom. These are going to produce flyers 100% of the time. So now I am good to go on that. Now, and see how that one has absolutely none. So that's a that's a garbage one. And you're a half one. All right. So now that I know for sure I'm going to get full-blown ones, I'm going to go back in here. I think I had you were a full-blown one, weren't you? Yes, you are. So I'm going to match him up now with one of these two half ones. And like I said, now the, now the thing is to try and get a bunch of them. And that's a half and half. And that's a full. All right, there we go. So we'll put you in here, and I think that was the only other full one. So I'm going to hold off. I don't want to go with a half and half because I'm trying to speed this process up. So we're good to go. We probably will have two full blowns out of here, three full blown drones here. So we're we're just about done with the fours, other than mass producing them. All right, and let's see what how we get did with these. I'm hoping to get a full blown on this one as well. Yes, 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 no. Not quite. And that's the same thing. I'm still missing one. Still missing one. So close. But at least it's got the nocturnal. That's the important part. I can put these back in. And at least the queen is going to have nocturnal, so it's going to speed him up at night. All right, here we go again. Valiant time. <laughs> that's like the one that I'm waiting on. That's that's the big one. All right, let's see. Princess. Man, still not all the way. That's identical. 
And that's none. Okay, that one goes bye bye. I want the full blown though. What do we got here? Same. And it's full. Finally, we got a full and it's a short, which is even better. That is awesome. Um, it's long, but the dominant will overtake it, and that's full as well. Oh, well, I like that better. It's straight on, as long as it's all... Oh, oh well. This is fine. The dominant will, will, will take control here. But that's... We got one. I'll wait for this one to see what we get. <laughs> well, we have success. I'll show you these two here real quickly, but this one just finally popped. So I now have Nocturnal Yes, Cave Yes. Unfortunately, he's still got the long lifespan, which sucks. This one, however, does have the shorter lifespan, Nocturnal and Cave. So this one is going to be my baby. I'm going to start pulling as soon as I start getting a... Uh, uh, the drones off of him. I'm going to breed it into here so we can start plugging out the drones with the shorter life. But we are good to go now because these three are there and these ones here. So right now I have now successfully got a permanent supply of drones now with the nocturnal and cave and a permanent supply of drones with the flyer. So our next step now is going to breed those traits that we've just got done, call it purifying, <laughs> into our meadows. And once that's complete, then you then we basically demonstrated how you can basically take any bee and breed in the traits you want. Again, like I said before, it's all about the purebred. Uh, don't get excited when you see something you want in the secondary or only in the primary and then try and go off and breed it into something else right there hoping you'll get lucky and it'll no you want to make sure you have plenty of stock because you're gonna have some times where it's not gonna go quite right and you saw that already before where we were losing our nocturnal on our valiant which definitely wasn't enjoyable but luckily we had it from this one over here so we were able to breed it back in and same with over here. It's all about, you know, getting what you want. So, uh, let me, I'm going to let these ones go through a couple more life cycles here. Get a nice ample supply, and then we'll, I'll be back and we'll start breeding that into our meadows, and that will be this episode. Alright, so I've got a decent supply of drones for the forest. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this part of it. I've taken the, uh, the purebred queens back to my regular base. Oops. Back to my regular base where I've got my automation going and I plug them in. So they're just going to keep plugging out drones. So I feel fairly safe using these right now. Uh, if I end up blowing through these, I can always go back and get more. The issue having to do with what we're doing this first part here is mutations. Uh, forest and Meadows does produce the common drone or the common mutation. Um, and I'm not after that right now. Um, what I'm after, you know, like we said before, we're trying to breed in specific traits into a specific B. So we're going to end up, once, if anytime we get commons, we're going to try and breed it back down into the meadows using regular drones and try and, try and get the one we want. But we're going to go ahead, I got eight Bs here. So we'll take those eight Bs and we'll, I have some weird leg there. So we'll take the eight Bs and we're going to go ahead and start plugging them into our our uh, apiaries and we'll see what we get on this first batch all right first batch uh, we're just gonna do like the normal we're only grabbing the princesses to start so let's see of the meadows oops, we have one meadows forest who does have flyer okay all right meadows forest and it also has flyer in the primary. Okay. Now of our forest, we do have a forest meadows. And he also has flyer. Forest common with flyer. Forest meadows. Inactive but has flyer. 
again, flyer. And then of our common, oh, that's a straight up common. And he doesn't even have flyer. That's a waste. Uh, again, straight up common and no flyer. So we're going to. I think we're going to toss these. And we'll grab two more fresh meadows. And for the. These two meadows, as well as these forests, we're going to give them purebred meadows to try and get the uh, forest out of here. I don't want the common. So let's see. There's 16 of those. Gotcha. So for these ones, we want to get the, the forest out of here. I'm crossing our fingers that we'll keep that... Uh, that flyer trait in there. And now that we have those, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look and see what we got from our drones. Alright, that's a hybrid. Does have flyer. Hybrid, again, flyer. Okay. Hybrid, flyer. So, so far, they're all hybrids with flyer. Alright, another batch of bees ready to be examined. So, one common, which we, again, unfortunately don't care about, but he has a partial. All right, first forest meadows hybrid does have flyer in one, so that's all right. Meadows, meadows. Ooh, with flyer. Okay, there we go. Meadows, meadows with flyer. Uh, meadows, meadows with nothing. Meadows, meadows with nothing. So, meadows forest with nothing. <laughs> meadows, meadows with flyer. All right, so now we have three purebred meadows that have flyer. Three with nothing, which we'll have to pair up again with our forest. Try and do that. And one to go with. Actually, we'll hide just go this way because I don't remember. Did it have flyer? It did. Okay, so we can go with you. All right, so let me see what I get with my drones. All right, so out of that, we got. Two that had it in the recessive on full purebred, and two in the f uh, are the inactive, two in the active for the purebred, and we got one purebred meadows with full on flyer. So we're gonna save him like we did before. We want to get a few of those built up. We are getting somewhere. I'm like I said, we're holding on to him, not messing with you yet. Till I get at least one purebred. But anyway, we're making progress, so I will be back in a few. All right, time for another round. <laughs> we'll check out our hybrids first. Forest Meadows with it as the active. Forest Meadows with inactive. Forest Meadows active. And Forest Common. So we'll toss him. All right. Meadows, meadows, none. Meadows, meadows with active. Meadows, meadows, active. Meadows, meadows, active. All right. So out of that batch, I got two more of the drones with the, uh, I think it was in the active in the flyer. Uh, the rest of them were either hybrids, which I'm not playing with hybrids, we're only going purebreds, or they had nothing. So, two more. We're still still on the lookout trying to get our first uh, purebred princess that has both active and active. And we got... I went back and grabbed some of the other purebreds here, so we're going purebreds with these as well. And then two more fresh starts, so uh, here we go again. All right, another batch coming up. I uh, had one common that I got rid of already. The Forest Meadows hybrid had, uh, I believe, inactive. All right, so we have one purebred with active. Purebred with nothing. Eh. Purebred with active. Purebred with nothing. 
purebred with inactive. Purebred with inactive. All right, here we go again. Uh, we got two more of the Forest Meadows hybrids. Once again, we just got the inactive. I'm thinking if I get enough of the purebred drones, I may chance a couple of them to see if I can't get the uh, get lucky. All I need is one, and actually, I just got it. Meadows Princess, purebred with both flyers. All right. Let's see what else we get. Oh, wow. Two. Okay. Oh, this is... Holy cow. And... All right. There's another just regular. Wow. I don't even have enough drones. Wow. Okay. Well... <laughs> we're all, we're about almost ready to go to the uh, Valiance then. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna breed up a bunch of drones now. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, I hate when I do that. Let's pick you back up. All right. So we'll take and match those. I have two purebreds right now that I know of. So we'll go ahead and throw the two of you guys in there, but we also still have my drones to go through. So I'm going to have them start working, and I'll see what else I got with drones. All right, so we are ready to move on. I now have eight Meadows Princesses, all with Flyer on both active and active. So over here we've got our Valiance, which has it on the both active and inactive for cave and nocturnal I'm trying to use these little ones up first that don't fit in but yep there we go so we're gonna get all of these popping and see what we get hopefully we can get a purebred off the first one or two batches because like again like we've said before all it takes is one pair one purebred pair and from there you convert them all all right <clears throat> so we have our first <laughs> group of bees three valiant princesses and five meadows so our first is a valiant meadows uh shorter lifespan no effects we've got flyer cave and nocturnal all on it but not any of them doubled up uh, another valiant meadows all three in the active position that shows promise i may end up getting some more valiants out of this as well because i'm probably going to take the valiants and breed breed them straight in with the drones here to try and shore those up again because if i can get uh the flyer cave and nocturnal all on one b whether it's a valiant or a meadows i think that'll still be good so technically all three of these valiants have come in with all of the above so that's good so far now we have a Meadows Valiant once again it has all of them but none of them doubled up all of them all of them all right so that's the case all of these came out with all three of them either in the active inactive or combinations of the above so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine you guys back with your meadows to give us straight up purebreds again or attempt to and we'll combine you guys with valiance to try as, once again to get straight up purebreds and see if we can't on either the one of these groups get us a purebred with all of the above in multiple slots all right, next round of uh, princesses. So this time we got five meadows out of here and three valiants. So it looks like we got a pure blood valiant that time that has everything except for flyer and the active. Not bad. All right, another pure valiant. Same thing except with the inactive. Ooh, this is going good quickly. All righty, and all he has is flyer. That's not a good one and it's a hybrid as well all right well we'll just mix him with a uh, another valiant drone and that should keep the flyer hopefully at least 
balance it out. Eh. All right, pure bread meadows. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, score one. Uh, meadows valiant. We're still doing this act. Meadows valiant. Same thing. And how many? Five generations in captivity. Wow, that's nice. All right, Meadows Valiant. Oh, he's getting there. And another Meadows Valiant. All right, so another batch down. I didn't get my purebred drone from the Meadows. I did get a purebred drone from the Valiant that had all of the uh, the options. Now. I could go ahead and breed those two together, and yes, I would probably get the uh, all of the above with these, but they'd be hybrids. So then when I went to breed the, you know, the Valiant out or the Meadows out, I'd have the chance of once again losing one of those spots. So I figure it's better that we'll just go one more round, cross our fingers and hope to get either that drone from the Valiant or the Princess from the Meadows. I mean, sorry, the drone from the Meadows or the Princess from the Valiant. Now, I did get close on a couple. I got a couple Valiants that are missing just one Nocturnal or one Flyer. And I think even one of the Meadows that was missing just one, one half of one of those. So, I feel good that this next batch should, could produce that, that Magic P we're looking for. So, uh, I'll be back when these ones are ready to check. Alright, we did it. <clears throat> New batch of bees. And there she is. I have a Valiant Princess with 100% purebred to match my Valiant Drone with 100%. So there, right off the bat, is one. We can start mass producing those. Now I have, let's see, this Princess was only one. I'm going to go ahead and match it up with this one here. And this one here, both of these are all but one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you with him. And I am going to go, because it's only off by one, I'm going to take the chance on this one to try. This is, this, is, this is the purebred with all six, and this one has five. So I'm crossing my fingers at the worst case. Ugh, just have the one missing, but so close to having the full and like I said this is what we're aiming for is this bee it's nice now that we can mass produce drones of all purebred uh, valiants with all the stats but that's still what we're shooting for so we're one step away so close so I will be right back alright so we were successful this last one actually was very successful uh, let's see for my valiants I have you are full full on and you are full on so that is producing lots and lots you are almost there as well but I'm teaming you up with a full on so I'm pretty positive I'll have two of them at the end of this next round he's got three but we're trying to breed it in so getting close there here's the good one there we are all the way all the way so we are producing now full on there we go and also here so these two are going to be producing purebred drones with all of those traits every time and then in addition this one's just missing a half a flyer but we have a full on as well so that should also give us a third one so at this point now it's just filling in getting a few more breeding pairs so that we can just go into mass production and that is how that is how we do it so like I was saying or I think I might have said um, <laughs> you can do it one of two ways you can get your high level bees at the end and then try and go back and breed all these things into it again the problem is is if you've done it before the percentage of chance for mutations and we will be doing a mutation episode for the higher level bees is a lot smaller so when you mess it up and you end up getting a hybrid and you're trying to breed it back out it's a whole lot harder to get back to a purebred imperial or industrious than a purebred meadows so 
personally, I, I, I think it's smarter to, to get all this stuff bred in from the beginning than continue to keep in breeding it in as you get as you level up your mutations. That way, you're going to have this in all your different levels of bees. Uh, but you can, of course, do this at a later date as well. So if you already have a bunch of bees that are already produced at the high level, you can do this and then come back in and try to breed these traits into them. But the cool part is now I can leave this chunk loaded with the personal chunk loader AFK or go into spawn area or some area where it's pretty much always going to be loaded anyway. Put these guys in. Uh, put them into an automated mode, which is another ep yet upcoming episode. I'll show you how to actually process these bees and do do a more automated way of doing this without having to, to physically touch the bees. But that is also <laughs> another episode coming up. But yeah, that is an episode. We did it. We took our initial bees, our meadows with our simple no fancy nothing special and through a bit of breeding and a bit of time they can now breed they can now work at night they can work in the rain and they can work underground so i hope this helped you guys uh if you do have any other questions always feel free to leave me a comment uh or a message and i'll try to help you as best i can but hopefully that ex took away some of the mystery on how to do this, where to find these different uh, traits and stuff, and hopefully that makes it a little easier on you guys with your bee breeding experience. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.